hello students in the last session we were discussing lists and mutability in that we have discussed accessing list item changing item value and looping through the items of list in today's session we will continue the discussion of list and mutability and today we'll discuss methods associated with list so let's uh, look at the methods which are associated with list okay starting with the first method here the first method is l dot l dot append and we are passing one argument to this e what this method does adds the object e to the end of l so l here it is a list and we can add items to the list dynamically by using append method which adds the item at the end of list so even after creating a list we can add the items by using append method uh, let's uh, execute and see the append method okay let me create a list here uh, i'll say l1 is equals to so this is how we create a list as we have studied this in the last session so my list is having some values objects 1 2 3 comma i'll say 5 and uh, okay 2 again so these are some uh, elements uh, of the list so the list is created now let me add one more element to this i want to add uh, say 9 to the list then i can go for the method append l1 so this is my list name dot append so you can see intellisense feature is available in the idle okay l1 dot append and in bracket the element which you want to add at the end of a list i'll say mine and simply press enter so element has been added at the end of a list to view the element i'll just type elven now you can see the list of elements we have added nine at the end so append method can be used to add an element at the end of a list uh, the next method here it is elven dot count e so returns the number of times that e occurs in l so if you want to check how many times a particular element occurs in the list you can use a method count so let's see here i'll say elven dot count in bracket uh, i'll pass a number that is 2 so how many times 2 has occurred in the list Yeah, looking at the list it is 2 so let's see what this method returns yes it is returning 2 so this method can be used to count the number of times an element occurs in the list okay then we have a method uh, insert so the method insert l1 dot insert i comma e so two arguments we are passing inserts the object e into l at index i now we have one more method here that is insert which is uh, you can say a bit similar to append but the difference here it is append adds an element at the end but insert method can add element uh, at any index position in the list say i want to add an element at index position that is uh, index position 1 that means the second element then i can go for insert method i'll use insert method like elven dot insert 
then the index position first we need to specify I said at index position 1 that means this 1 is at index position 0 2 is at index position uh, 1 so I want to add uh, the element at index position 1 okay let me uh, add an element I'll say element as 8 then I'll press enter so let's view the content of uh, Alvin okay now you can see we have added an element or inserted an element 8 at index position 1 so earlier list and the new list you can see the difference here earlier 2 was at index position 1 but now at index position 1 we have value 8 okay that is about insert the next is elvin dot extend again l dot extend elvin adds the items in list elvin to the end of list l so this particular method simply adds not a single item but multiple list of items can be added in the list so the extends method extend method sorry if you have two lists say our first list was l1 i'll create one more l2 which is equals to say values uh, uh, 3 3 3 so these are the values of list 2 so it is created uh, i'll show you okay now what i want to do is i want to add all the elements from list 2 into list 1 so all the elements from list 2 into list 1 and this can be done by using method extend so i'll say elvin dot extend in bracket l2 so all the elements of list 2 we are adding in list 1 so it is done let me show you the values can you see the elements of list 2 at the end yes 3 3 3 so for that we can use extend the next method is uh, remove method removing deletes the first occurrence of e from l so we can delete element uh, from a list by passing the element itself in the to the remove method which removes element the first element in the list okay let me use this l1 dot remove and bracket so we have uh, two occurrences of two so i'll pass two i want to remove two then we have executed it let's see the output uh, let's see again the l1 now you can see earlier we had two at index position uh, two but now two has been removed so the first occurrence of two has been removed not all the occurrences of two that we need to remember okay this is how we can remove an element okay the next method is l dot index of e which simply uh, returns the index of the first occurrence of item e in l it raises an exception if e is not in l okay it will return an index position of an item if that item is not there in the list it will raise an exception okay let us check this method l1 dot index so let me pass 3 to it and now you can see it is returning me the value 2 so the first occurrence of 3 it is at index position 2 that is 0 1 and 2 that is why it is returning 2 okay if I pass uh, a uh, value say index of some value which is not part of the list say value 4 is not there in the list now look at the result it is returning and or it is raising an exception if the value is not part of a list okay then we have uh, the next method that is l dot pop 
i removes and returns the item at index i in list if i is omitted it defaults to minus 1 to remove and return the last element of list so we have one more method which removes an element that is pop now the pop method so elvin dot pop in bracket simply pass an index position of an item which you want to remove say i want to remove 8 from the list 8 index position of 8 is 1 so uh, i'll say 1 and we have removed the item it also returns uh, the item which is removed you can say it is returning the it means that is the item which is removed let me show you the list again now you can see there is no 8 in the list it has been removed now even pop method can be used like uh, without an argument so we can say pop elvin pop without the argument in that case the uh, index by default it is minus 1 minus 1 again uh, it is used to refer to the last element so it has removed the last element you can see this last element will be removed from the list okay that is pop method we have a method sort again as the name tells you it sorts the elements of list l1 l in ascending order so let us sort the element l1 dot sort okay let me check it now you can see elements are sorted earlier it was 1 3 5 2 now it is 1 2 3 5 9 so sort method can be used to sort elements the next method that is reverse so i'll say l1 dot reverse the name itself tells us reverse method reverses the elements so l1 dot reverse look at the output now earlier it was 1 2 3 5 9 now it is 9 5 3 2 1 that is reverse of a list okay these are some important methods associated with list there are other methods which are available so we have discussed only important methods of list okay uh, we will stop here today thank you